Well, hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Tracy Tim, and you are watching The Nth Degree TV, the place to be to take your career from stuck to unstoppable. If you want to stop dreading Mondays and stop living for the weekends, then you have come to the right place. Last week I talked in depth about how to know if it's the right time to hire and work with a professional career coach. If you missed that video and you're unsure if getting some serious help is the right thing for you, then I'd recommend you go back into the blog and take a look. However, for those of you who either watched the video and realized that you're ready to get some help or you came to today's video already knowing that you're ready for a change, I figured the next natural and logical step would be this. How on earth? Are you gonna know which career coach or program or blah, blah, blah is going to be the right one for you? I mean, let's get serious here. There are literally countless books, podcasts, videos, programs, and quote unquote experts out there. And ironically, it could quite possibly be a full-time job just looking for someone to help you find the ideal full-time job. So if you know you're ready for some clarity, some greater clarity in your career, but not sure how to pick the person or program that's a right fit for you, then today you're in luck because today I'm sharing with you my proven career coach buyer's guide. So here are the five straightforward steps that you need to take to find the right career coach and the right solution for you. First, learn the landscape. If you go to the International Coaching Federation website, you'll find that career coaching or counseling is broadly defined as partnering in a thought-provoking and creative process that inspires you to maximize your personal and professional potential. Now, I don't know about you, but that definition tells me a whole lot of nothing. Does that mean you're getting resume help? Does that mean you're discovering your life's purpose? Who the hell knows? So the first thing that you need to do if you're considering engaging with a career coach or any service of this kind is take a serious step backwards and explore the broader landscape of the solutions available to you. In today's world, there are solutions ranging from the detailed to the broad, so like resume writing to total career planning. And then there are programs ranging from completely passive to totally in person. So before you start down any road to clarity, get a map and figure out all the different types of career coaching, you know, planes, trains, and automobiles, if you will, that can get you to your destination. Speaking of destinations, Number two, know what you need. There is a huge difference between needing help with interview strategy and wanting advice on how to retire by the time you're 40. And the type of person or program who's going to help you with each of those unique scenarios is going to be different. The term career coach or career counselor might sound generic at first, but most career clarity professionals focus on something specific one demographic or one part of professional development, as opposed to being sort of a jack of all trades. Think about it like this. If you're going to the doctor because you're sick, you wanna to go to the right kind of doctor to help you with the exact type of illness that you have. One would not want to go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor for a problem with your foot. <laughs> the same holds true for coaches. So first, you wanna get clear on what ails you, so to speak, and then begin your search. Number three, grasp the jargon. You know why you hate going to the doctor or you feel like such an idiot when you get work done on your car? Most likely because the cost near my star femur is or bad stuff. It's because you don't speak the same language as the person who's standing in front of you. Every job and industry comes with its own jargon and career coaching is no different. So before you start to shop, you wanna get as smart as you can so that your decisions can be more savvy. Career coaching programs are going to range from everything to a behavioral assessment, like a personality test, all the way to full scale programs and services. Then some people like to work one-on-one, -on -one, sell session packages, run online programs, sell retreats, host masterminds, and even sell services where they aren't involved at all. In order to simply know what you're buying and the outcome that you expect, you have to be up on the lingo and ask the right questions so you can not only walk the walk, but literally talk the talk. Number four, shop till you drop. 
Once you have these three quick steps checked off your list, then you need to get yourself out there looking for solutions. There are three basic keys to any career coaching or counseling solution. This is what they are. The person presenting or facilitating, the medium of delivery of the program, and the outcome that you can expect. All of your questions should surround these three major categories. Namely, you want to know and like and trust the person who you choose to work with, feel comfortable receiving information on the platform that they deliver, and believe in the final outcome that you've been promised. If any one of these things is awry, then you can expect to have a disappointing coaching experience. However, if all three of them are a go, then you've found yourself a great and promising solution for your future. Number five, decide and dive. So once you've learned the landscape, figured out what you need, grasped all the jargon, or most of it, and done your research, then it's time to take the plunge. Investing in something like career coaching, which if it's good, it's not going to be free, is definitely an important decision, but not one that you wanna drag out forever. If you've gotten this far, you know you're not doing what you wanna be doing, and you know you need help figuring out what that is, then your life and your career really can't wait much longer. If you've done your research and the price is right, you gotta pull the trigger and finally reap the rewards. So now I'd like to hear from you. What part of the career coaching process has you confused? And what other tips do you have for finding the Career Clarity program that's right for you? I can't wait to hear about your career journey in the comments, so please leave a comment below this video or on our website, tracytim.com. While you're there, make sure that you take advantage of our two new Career Clarity resources on our homepage. You can sign up for our free webinar on jumpstarting your career, or you can download our free Career Clarity Starter Kit. Either way, don't wait because you deserve a job and a life that you love, and these resources I know can be the first step in that road to clarity. Did you like this video? I hope you did because I love making these videos for you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out some other videos that you might find helpful. And that's a wrap for today. I want you to remember that now is your time. And with a proven strategy, guided introspection, and a step-by-step -step plan, I promise that we can take your career from stuck to unstoppable together. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next episode of The Nth Degree TV. In today's world, the solutions range from all kinds, the details to the, oh crap. <laughs> they, well, yep, yeah, we got, we got solutions, baby. Yeah. Number two, oh, shoot. Number five, design, oh, design. Some people work one-on-one, -on -one, sell session package, session, session. <laughs>